There we go. Okay. And now we can see there's a solar panel. And that means that we are charging, we're bringing in about 0.2 amps of an hour. So we are making energy. Not too bad. Now, I also know on this controller, if you come over here and you go to where it says the voltage, it's a little bit easier without the panel plugged in. I just unplugged our panel. And you can go to select. Leaving this setting at 15 makes it so when I push enter, it turns this USB port on under here or this load on and off. And you'll see the light bulb on the screen turn on and off. So I'll leave that setting at 15, but let's go here um, to the voltage and hold down enter. And now we can select our battery type. I have AGM, so for now I'm going to select flood until I can do some more research. And it, it could be actually, no, we're going to go right here sealed. I think SLD is sealed. So that should be a sealed lead acid and then hold down enter. And now you can also see that it auto selected the 12 volt system. Maybe hard to see this controller knows how to do that. So let's plug it back in. And it's important to set the battery because it needs the right charge uh, profile to run. So let's get it going. Okay, now we've got solar coming in. Bringing in 0.2 of an amp. And I'll just not touch it for a second, let it do its thing, but you can see that it's charging. What it'll do is it'll automatically start cycling through all of its different screens just to let you know what's going on. But you can see the panel's on. There's our battery voltage. You can see that the battery's charging and that's how much current we're bringing down. So it's ready to go. It's got a two pull disconnect with strain relief. You can see it's been attached with UV resistant zip ties. Also got cable protected. All that's left is a 10 amp fuse on both lines and to hook this up to a solar panel. 